I love you. Please, please help him. 38-year-old male T-boned on the 101. Significant space intrusion. GCS4, open femur fracture, vascular injuries. He's lost a lot of blood. Get a colloid infusion started. Four units of blood. Bring in at patient's blood type now. BP's dropping. Call orthopedic. We need to get this bleeding stopped. How are we on blood? Never mind. Four units O negative. Stat. There's none left. Then type and cross. Four units. Come on, people. We're going to lose this man if we don't get our act together. BP 70 over 40. We don't have time to type and cross. Don't ask questions. Just do what I said. Now! I'm afraid there was nothing more I could do. And it's your belief that had you been able to access the patient's medical records, <laughs> you would have been able to save him. That's correct. How soon after the patient died did you learn the reason you couldn't access the records was because of a computer breach? News spread fast, minutes I'd say. Not long after I was contacted by our chief of staff, he told me the hospital's network had been infected with something called ransomware. Hackers were literally demanding money in exchange for releasing use of our computers back to us. And did the chief of staff tell you how the hack occurred? He said it traced back to a phishing email sent to one of our administrative workers. Why would I need to update my software to track a package? Well. I've been waiting for this package for a long time, so I guess I'll just do what it says. Thank you, Doctor. Now, the reason we're here is to determine whether or not Memorial Regional Medical Center should be held civilly liable for failing to provide its employees with adequate security awareness training. And in order to answer that question, I'd like to call to the witness stand the person responsible for allowing the ransomware to be installed. Do you see that person in the courtroom today, Doctor? Yes, I do. Could you point him out to us and tell us his name? That's him there. His name is Michael. 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 Hey. Whoa. Welcome back. You okay? Actually, no. Check out this email. Now our whole network could be infected with some kind of ransomware or something. You have to actually click the link in order to let them in. Plus, there's a simple test you can do to tell if the link's legitimate or not. Take a look. If you hover your cursor over the hyperlink, a dialog box will come up. If it doesn't match, like in this case, do not click the link. It means it's from a hacker, and clicking that link would enable them to launch a ransomware attack, turning your worst fears into our reality. So what should I do with this email, then? Nothing. Just leave it alone and get in touch with IT. They'll know the best way to handle it. 